Hey everyone, welcome to JotForm. My name is Kimberly, and today we're gonna to be walking through how and why you can use JotForm for your color matching services. Now, if you are a makeup artist, or even if you're in the home decor industry, you can really benefit from using a form like this. So if you need support on making a form like that, let's jump over to the dashboard. All right, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is go up into the top left corner, up to that green button, and click on Create Form. Now from here, there's three different options. We can either start from scratch if we're wanting it to look a very specific way, we can use a template or we can import form. Now, if you know someone else who already has a form that they've shared with you, you can import using a URL. But for this one, I definitely wanna take a look at the templates. So for this, I wanna look for templates that are specifically for color matching. And if you didn't already know, JotForm actually has templates that are uploaded by users. So in the search all templates area, I'm gonna type in color matching. And it's already there. My computer knows what I'm searching for. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on color match and then search. Now the very first things that we see pop up is we see these user generated forms, which are amazing. That means it's gonna take less time for us to create our own form. So we can scroll down, you can see different companies, different ways to use this form. But I'm gonna go ahead and go back up to the top and I'm gonna use that very first one. I'm gonna click on use template. All right, now the first thing we wanna do is we wanna edit that top section. If you want to keep it, you wanna make sure to include your picture, your face, because people wanna know who they're doing business with and edit this information to fit you. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this section just for the sake of this video. And so for this, we have name, we have name as seen on Facebook, because you know, sometimes people's names are different. Um, and then from here, scrolling down, it looks like with this form, we're gonna be contacting them through Facebook. For me, I wanna be able to contact them off of social media to build that relationship. So I am going to choose phone number, and I'm gonna change that header where it says phone number to best text number. And then for me, their name on Facebook, I personally don't need that, so I'm gonna take that off. If you need it, definitely leave it. And then we have the instructions on how to give us that information that we're looking for to help them color match. So if we're doing makeup, we can always leave this one. It's a very generic how to take a selfie picture. We have some distance guidelines, making sure they're standing in front of a well-lit space. If you're doing this for home decor, just give them some examples of what you want them to take a picture of. And then right here we have upload your selfie here. Now, if you are creating this from scratch and you need to add in this feature, all you need to do is come over to the left-hand side to form elements. Um, and it's under basic. If we scroll down to file upload, we would just drag that in. Now, the next question is asking, you know, if there's anything that we want to know about our potential client that would help us with the color matching process. Now, some other things that we can do here in this section is ask those specific questions that can help us upsell in the future. I'm gonna go ahead and add a few drop down questions to help us do that. So the first thing I'm gonna ask is about their foundation. All right, let's do another one next. I want another skin type because that can definitely affect my suggestions for them. Now we can ask a ton of other questions too. We can ask, you know, do they prefer glam or more natural? Do they prefer, you know, the colors for their blush or their lipstick or their eyeshadows? But for this, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as it is. And this question here is gonna kind of capture the, the anything else that we didn't ask. So is there anything else I need to know about your skin? Comments, questions, or concerns, drop them down below. Um, and then we have these last two drop downs. I really like to combine these two questions together. So I'm gonna do that now. And these look like single choice questions, either yes or no, and I want it to be multiple choice. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this in. Okay, and so that one question pretty much pulled together both of these. So let's have two questions, it's just one. So now we need to go back through and make sure that all of these questions are required. And something else I want to mention too, if you are wanting to have any add-ons with this, if you're wanting to sell anything, we can even add in either PayPal or Square, I'm gonna leave this question as not required because they might not wanna share anything with me, but I do want this last question required. 
But with that, if you wanted to tack on another question about maybe some samples, maybe you offer samples and maybe you sell your samples, you can attach in or add in the PayPal or the Square. There's over 30 plus integrations that you can add in. You would just come here to payments and then just choose which one you wanna do. I know people are different. I'm personally a PayPal gal, but you just go through the process and it's super, super simple. But for most of these, it's more of just gathering information. But the last thing I wanna share with you guys is one of my favorite tips is the submit button. So I'm gonna to go to the top, up to settings, and then where it says thank you page, instead of showing a thank you page, and then now you, know, you can choose from different layouts of what that looks like, we can also redirect them to an external link. Again, this is one of my favorite, favorite things about JotForm is most of the time, if you are a makeup artist, you probably have a space on Facebook or somewhere in the social realm where you can send people to after they have filled out their form. So if you have a group on Facebook, a customer group, you can paste the whole URL here. So that way, whenever they're done filling out their form and they hit the, the submit button, they'll be taken straight to your group on Facebook to start building relationships, to start seeing other images, pictures, graphics, content that you have shared on social media. After that, we are pretty much done. So we come up to publish, we can grab this link and we can share it with anyone who needs to be color matched. So if you have any questions, be sure to put it down below and I will see you all next time. Bye.